Thank Kailu for visiting our YouTube channel. I'm fine as always, how are you? I'll reveal 17 fascinating insider facts about Sean Canary. 17 secret short facts about Sean Canary. Number 1. He wasn't the first choice for James Bond. Producer Cubby Broccoli initially wanted David Niven, but Canary's screen test, raw charisma, and physicality won him the role. Number 2. He almost quit Bond after Goldfinger. Feeling typecast, he considered leaving the franchise, but was persuaded to stay with a hefty salary increase and creative control over his character. Number 3. His iconic Bond voice wasn't his natural one. He adopted a deeper, more refined tone to sound less working class and differentiate himself from previous actors. Number 4. He was a skilled athlete and bodybuilder in his youth. He played professional football and competed in bodybuilding competitions before becoming an actor. Number 5. He enjoyed writing poetry and even published a book of his own. His poems were often inspired by his love of Scotland and nature. Number 6. He was a political activist and supporter of Scottish independence. He campaigned for the Scottish National Party and even donated money to the cause. Number 7. He was a lifelong golfer and even played with world champions like Jack Nicklaus. He once famously said, Golf is a bloody torture, but I love it. Number 8. He was known for his practical jokes and playful demeanor on set. His co-stars often described him as a joy to work with despite his occasional gruffness. Number 9. He was awarded a knighthood by Queen Elizabeth Roman II in 2000 for his services to film. He famously quipped, it's not bad for a kid from Fountainbridge, referencing his working-class Edinburgh neighborhood. Number 10. He was fluent in French and Spanish, having learned them while serving in the Royal Navy during World War Roman II. He even used his language skills in some of his films. Number 11. He was a passionate advocate for environmental causes and supported organizations like Greenpeace. He believed in protecting the natural beauty of his beloved Scotland. Number 12. He was a talented singer and even recorded an album of traditional Scottish songs. His deep baritone voice added another dimension to his artistic repertoire. Number 13. He was a devoted family man and married his wife Michelaine Roquebrun for over 45 years. They were considered a Hollywood power couple known for their strong bond. Number 14. He was a self-proclaimed action junkie and loved performing his own stunts in films. He continued doing them well into his 70s, showcasing his athleticism and dedication to his craft.